church fit for today. Um, I'm just wearing this like um, long sleeve dress from I think Forever 21. Um, and then I got this scarf from like a Christmas market. So it was like locally made, which is cute. Um, just got my black leggings on. And then if I want to be like casual with this outfit, I usually do a jean jacket with my red Converse's. Or if I want to dress it up, I'll do like my red trench coat with like some boots. So I'll probably do that for church today. The dishes are piling up in the sink because the dishwasher was run, so I need to put all that away so I can get that mess under control. Alright, that's looking much better, so now it's time for breakfast. church and I just inserted a little like clip from my church's live stream video because I'm too shy to like record in person so I just wanted to give you guys a little glimpse of how worship was today and um so now we're just having a late lunch because by the time we get back it's like we go to the 11 a.m service then we stay and talk to people then we go home and it's like 36 minute drive so now it's like two o'clock and I will probably won't eat by till until like 2 30 so but it's okay we're kind of used to just winging it on these days for meals and that so yeah, I'm just going to make some chicken for me and Jake, and then I'm making pierogies for myself as a side. So, yeah, we're just going to do that for now. And then I just need to get my house ready for Bible study tonight because uh, we do that once a month on a sunny evening. So, uh, yeah, I just kind of want to go over like a little segment about how to make your home welcoming to others because I know that's definitely important and like spoken about in the Bible. So, yeah. So I finally got to eat my lunch and I feel good and ready to go for us today. Um, so now I kind of want to just sit down and let talk about like how to make your house more hospital as like a biblical woman. So I went to Pinterest for some inspiration and this one article, uh, womanofnoblecharacter.com has some Bible verses listed. Uh, Romans 12, 13, contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Um, and then we also have 1 Timothy 5, 10 which says, and having a reputation for good works, if she has brought up children, has shown hospitality, has washed the feet of the saints, has cared for the afflicted, and has devoted herself to every good work. Um, what's another one? Hebrews 13, 2. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Uh, and in 1 Peter 4, 9, show hospitality to one another without grumbling. Um, and I think that's all the ones they have listed. So yeah, I liked those verses because um, it's just important for us to want to truly be hospital to others out of the goodness of our heart, you know, like not because we feel obligated to, like, you know, um, and I think it's a great way to do that is by inviting friends into your home. Um, and you also are supposed to be hospital strangers as well. So like reaching out to them in public spaces as well. 
but um, I'm gonna be focusing more on the home today since that's what I'll be doing today. Um, so I think definitely a way to make your home welcoming to other believers or just maybe non-Christians you're inviting to the home is to just be very welcoming and open and to be like that safe space um, to just like talk about anything they want and not feel judged or condemned for doing so. I think that's very important for like other Christians going to Christians homes to feel that way so that you are like just that space you can really just like talk about your struggles and uh trials and tribulations together so yeah i love being that outlet at my bible studies because after we go through a, a book together like a small book or whatever um we have the discussion questions at the end which is how to apply it to our lives or things we've seen in our lives and how we can learn from it so i love that everyone can feel comfortable opening up and talking about things in their past or things they're struggling with right now so yeah, I think that's like the number one best thing to be hospital. It doesn't matter what your house looks like or whatever, like just like how you are treating each other in that space is very important. But if you do want some tips on how to make your house in general feel like, you know, physically feel welcoming, I definitely recommend lighting candles because that really just sets a nice like ambiance and cozy atmosphere for people to walk into and always definitely have some snacks ready. I think that's always nice to just have you know, just some food and refreshments available for those visiting your home since you've opened your home up to them. But yeah, I'm just excited. I can just be that space for people to come together and congregate and like just really dive more deeper into things besides than just going to church and just seeing each other real quick and then moving on. So it's like nice that we do have this outlet too once a month for the people at our church and other churches. Like we have also invited people we've known from other churches and stuff. So it's just really cool getting all those like mixes of different communities coming together. And um, yeah, I just really love doing it. I had to do to get ready for my Bible study for this evening so I hope I gave you guys some good inspiration on how to have a welcoming home for others and um, yeah thank you so much for checking out this second episode of my Christian wifey vlog series and um, I'll see you guys in the next video all right bye Amazing grace, how sweet.